What was he talking about, huh? What goddamn black book? He was just messing with your mind, Dale. So they could get the shot off. Jesus Christ. I swear I never come so close to shitting myself. Try to sleep. Okay, love bug? I'm not tired. I know what a gunshot sounded like at her age. Now she'll never be able to stop hearing them. I know. I can't even. She's six, Vince. Six. Ten years working here under three different managers. <laughs> Worst thing ever happened before was a rattlesnake in the bathroom. Take a minute. Get your shit together. Hey! What are you doing over here? I cut the guy a break. He just saved my life out there. He helped us one time. Doesn't mean he'll do it twice. Look, I ain't saying we should give up. But what are we supposed to do now, huh? No helicopter? That pig Romero don't care if we're dead or alive. I don't know anymore. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sharon, better not make me regret this. <sighs> Fuck me. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Huh? Why are you here? Got this. <clears throat> you clearly do not. Hi, Ma. Hey, Mama. Hi, sweethearts. Hmm. Paul. Sharon. Hmm. Hope you're here to talk some sense into your boys. You two friends or something? Long story. So how did this whole thing become such a damn clusterfuck? Romero's how. He tries to break in, we ask for a helicopter, he lures us outside, takes a shot at Dale. I swear to God, I could kill that lousy crook. <sighs> Got something to say? Nope. Come on now. How have my sons been treating you? We're fine. We'll get through it. Fine, huh? Not sure I buy that. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. Been trouble from the beginning. Always arguing. He saved your brother's life! <sighs> family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But desperate days make for desperate men. They're scared. Just like you are. Just like I am. So tell you what, you help me take care of my family, I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? <sighs> okay. Look, the sheriff, he, um, he gave me something. 
A two-way pager. He uh, what? He wants that book he was talking about. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Whoa, whoa, wait! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. So Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? Look, I don't care whose house you robbed. All I care about is my family. Then you and I have something in common. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Dale, Jay, don't you worry. I'll get you out of here. You're helping them? Seriously? I'm pretty much totally making this up as I go. So if you have any ideas... I thought stay quiet and do nothing was a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, I've been quietly doing nothing all my life. Daddy? Hey, pumpkin. Try to sleep. Daddy, you look scared. Do I? That's not how I feel. How do you feel? The opposite, actually. I feel safe. Because I'm with you. Okay. Then I'll keep protecting you. <sighs> Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. Wait, we're taking them with us? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey. What's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I, I thought there was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I, I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to. Deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof. It won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. We replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw. Easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't.
Hey, bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh, ain't softwood, so... You saying you got hard wood? That's right. Hey, Tyler, says he's got hard wood. <laughs> Maybe you need a cold shower. I don't. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Should have seen that coming. We don't mean it. You know that. Uh, hey. Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. I don't think so. Sure? <sighs> <laughs> Go. Looky, looky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <clears throat> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. In God's name, are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? Mm. Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Caught some cottontails. Thanks, son. Always thinking of us. You don't have to cover for your daddy. Uh... I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No, thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks.
Who are you? <laughs> Hello, son. I represent some business acquaintances of your father's. <sighs> ah, that is good. I can see this is a well-run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Now that's what I'd like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? Depends on who you are and what you want. My name is Mr. Thorne. I represent an organization that has a financial agreement with your father. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? If you gotta... Just don't drop the ashes on the floor. Hmm. I was certain I had some matches. Hmm. Listen, son. I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for... If your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest... Owing money will be the least of his troubles. What exactly are we talking about? Let me put it this way. The men who come after me, instead of lighting cigars, they'll be loading their guns. Interesting. Swiss? <laughs> the watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It's... It ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? Uh, uh, I... Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Perhaps you're the good apple of a bunch after all. Jay, I forgot my damn watch. Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss-stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too! You'll be hearing from us! Bring it on! I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive! You let that piece of shit intimidate you? In your own home? the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Sorry? What does that mean? Jay, where's the watch? I gave it to him. Uh, I was trying to help. Oh, for Jesus Christ's sake, can I trust you to do nothing right? Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? For the love of God, Jay, I have a right to know what's going on in my own house. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Ugh. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, Bear. Mm. How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. 
But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. The shed's in the back. Yeah, away from the road. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Why isn't he turning off the lights? Halfway there. Hey, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh, it's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, 8000 There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing, just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> You're not messed up though. You seem like a good kid. How would you know? You're sensitive, you're smart. You know right from wrong. Ain't that smart. I'm going to jail after this. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes. I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Yes, life happened, got older, other things felt more important. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts, could, could he be paying out bribes or something? 
Paying them, taking them, and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. I hope she keeps on sleeping. Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? What's the plan once we get in the bus? We drive to the border and hope like hell we don't have to stop for gas. They don't have any reason to harm us. We just gotta get through it. You're right. We'll make it. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order and all the hush money. Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I want to do. I'm not signing. I'm gonna take those fuckers to court and sue them for ten times what they offered us. Really? Vince, that's amazing. You're not mad? I thought you wanted me to put it all behind us. Exactly. I wanted to put it behind us. I don't care. It's just so good to see you fight for something again. If I win, maybe I can finally take those flight lessons. Leaving the country? We can't go home again? Vince. Grow up. You even realize how I've been thinking a lot too. We are? I'm sorry, Jake. And I know you I forgave me happen. for for Bruce, but is that enough? Are we, is our marriage going to survive? Nothing like a terrifying hostage situation to clarify how you feel. I love you. I guess it does put things in perspective. I love you too. You know that? I do. Yeah, hi. Is Jessica there? It's Dale. Dale Halt? No. The one they caught shoplifting. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Look, I... I've seen you work in that liquor store sometimes, and well... There's that bar near there, you know, the one with the pool table and all? And I just was wondering if, um, you'd want to go there with me sometime. Well, all right. Uh, it's a date. On your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay!
Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. Ain't true. Because I do, Pa. Yeah, maybe you do. <sighs> Needing and wanting ain't the same thing, no. I ain't been wanting for a while. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? You got it. Pull. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He had my pappy's watch. I tried to get it back, but stubborn son of a bitch refused. He attacked me, and I hit him uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. He said if I gave him the watch, they'd give us more time to pay. With interest? Oh. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I should never have given it to him. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. One day, it'll be yours. See if he's still got it on him. 
I don't know if I can do that, Pa. You're the one that gave it away. Now, you can get it back. Search him. <sighs> Ain't much, but it's better than nothing. He had a family. So do I. Didn't stop him coming after me. Got it. Good. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your mom. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I... I can't. Sorry. You want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. Now listen. When I was half your age, we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then, one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. Yeah, I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and all those years I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? It had to be. Please. Oh, shit. We gotta cover him up before he... Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. Help me. Please. Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Bury him. We have to help him, Pa. Then I'll do it myself. Look like you need it. Not for me. Too early. Ain't early. It's late. Still, no thanks. Well, after tonight, I do. <sighs> you take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. Look, what happened tonight? 
It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. I, I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. You ain't so bad as all that. You got your good sides too. Maybe once. Too much water gone under the bridge now. You saved a man's life tonight. And that makes you a better man than me. But it won't change things. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people, they ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. Don't die! Don't die! <coughs> Shut up. Left me. You're still my pa. I don't want to lose you. Life. That's not what you want. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? The next time you see me and my friends outside, you'll be digging your own graves. Oh, God, Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now. Should've let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, you wanna hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way.
We gotta get to the truck. Michelle! Zoe! Daddy! Daddy! Come quick! Stay there! I'm coming! Oh, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! You're coming with me! Screw you, you piece of shit! You out, okay? Please hurry. <sighs> Damn it! Hang on, Ma. It's over. We can't win. <sighs> on three, okay? One, two. Dear God, please let this work. What are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run, run, run! Go, go! Everyone okay? Oh, but keep going. We're not safe yet. Daddy. <sighs> I, I can't breathe. <laughs> the whole fucking place is on fire. Oh God, I hope Paul got out. How do we get out? There's a window. Jump. It's too high. I'll get hurt. I'll go first and catch you, okay? <laughs> All right, time to jump. And no fancy backflips. I know you want to. Have I ever told you how much I love your dumb jokes? Remember, love bug. I'll be right here. <laughs> okay, pumpkin. You ready? Please, don't make me. <laughs> the flames are coming up the stairs. We need to go now. Go on, Joyce. We're right behind you. <laughs> Look out! Climb down. I'll find another way. The bathroom at the end of the hall. I'll see you down there. We have to run for it. Should we hold our breaths? Good idea. I'll have to boost you up. I'll be right behind you, I promise. Will you fit? I'm not that big. Ready? Up you go! Get on my back. Now hold on tight. Quick, away from the flames. Oh. 
What a freaking mess. I want to go back home to Sacramento. If we hadn't come, then none of this would have happened. Maybe not. But Mommy's gonna be fine. And Grandpa's just outside. We'll all be together again. Really soon. You promise? I do. Come on, kiddo. That was the lowest setting. You don't want to feel it on the highest. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Negative, Coburn. I got it covered. Uh, Zoe, run! Where's Sharon? Where's the book? I don't know. What are you doing? I gave you every chance to do the right thing. I trusted you. And you chose them over me. Wait, wait. They made me do it. I was gonna give it back to you, I swear. I don't care about why or how. No hopes. <laughs> They're nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people. Myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? I swear, I didn't even look. And the thing is, I... I don't believe you. How about I take you in for questioning so we can be sure? <laughs> Think you're going? I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you didn't want to tell me about? Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. <laughs> Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello there. Where's my daddy? Wanna go for a ride, Dad? Let her go. I don't think so. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. for you. I may have just killed a cop because of you. And you thank me by... by taking my little girl? Relax. It ain't personal. Of course it's personal. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. 
That a boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Thank you. Jay, shoot open that gate and get the truck started. Hmm. <sighs> she's six years old. Don't you think she's seen enough for one night? So have my boys. So have I. I'm sorry, Vince, but we need her. Please, please, I don't want to go. Wait, you need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled? Ah, we gotta go. Wait, look! Look, I'm the lawyer. But in Arizona, there's a death penalty here, right? Because if you take Zoe, and anything happens, no jury's gonna let you off for that. But if, if it's me, if I come willingly, maybe I was even in on it. He's making sense. Fine, let's just go already. Go on, then. God, Zoe. Come on. You're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Just look after Mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. He's me to see in the dark. I love you, Zoe. All, all, all the way to the moon. Say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. He wasn't dumb. He was trying to do the right thing. I'm sorry this is happening. Me too. Jay, eyes on the road. <sighs> The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it!
Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. Cut you down. Jay! What are you doing? Turn off your engine. Do not attempt to exit the vehicle. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. Just the motel, but what happened afterward? I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell you the news, my head's been wet with the mist.